Because I ain't finna play with these people. And you ain't finna play with these people either. Because you got places to be, people to see, and goals to achieve. Hey boo, welcome to my channel. My name is Rain Olivia. Welcome or welcome back. Um, in today's video, I'm basically going to be doing a girls talk. So I'm just answering some questions that I ask, that y'all ask me on Instagram. Or people ask me on, on my Instagram. Make sure you follow me at Rain Olivia double A at the end. Um, I wrote down some of the topics y'all told me in my notes. And we're just going to be going over them. It's basically like advice from a big sister or advice from your bestie or whoever. Not mama advice yet because we ain't went there yet. Ain't got that much experience in life. But, um, I mean, well, I guess we can get started. So, the first one on the list, God. I feel like God should be up there. Like, the top one you should be a top priority because i feel like everything god gave you life god gave you all your blessings i mean if you don't believe in god i don't really know that's to you it's your business but god will god will help you with anything that you're going through if you have problems like just pray it might you might feel like oh i don't really know like who i'm praying to or i don't know how to pray or you just feel like you're alone you're not alone like god is always there to help you if you don't have nobody else god is there and i don't know it's just you have to believe in god yourself to understand what i'm saying but god should be your top priority he's gonna help you through everything he's going to lead you he's going to open doors he's going to close doors and i know for me at least i'm not like I'm still young, so I'm still learning. But sometimes, you know, you be feeling like, God, why? And it's just like, yeah, God, why? But you have to understand that he does everything for a reason. Like, you were born for a reason. You went through that breakup for a reason. You lost that friend for a reason. You got that job for a reason. Like, he sets, up, he sets you up for the person he wants you to be. He will always redirect you as long as you come to him um we were born to sin like we are going to sin it's okay that's why you pray and you for you ask for forgiveness but it's just like we're going to we're going to grow so the next one on my list is goals now me personally like i have <laughs> it's probably bad i don't know if it's bad but i have like this whole picture of my life what i want my life to be like and it's just like I don't know if I'm really going to share my goals, but it's important to have goals. For one, to make you stay focused. Like, you have to be focused with school, with your life, anything, anything. You just have to be, like, you can't be absent-minded. You have to stay focused on what you're doing to make sure that whatever you want to do will happen. And going back to God, like, if you want something to happen ask god for guidance ask god to help you through the hardships you might have during that process it's just like it's gonna come whatever is whatever is for you is going to come um knowing what you want to do in life knowing what you want to oh ow <laughs> knowing what you want to do in life i would say you know, you know, you always see TikToks about certain things. Do your research. Because before I thought about being a nurse practitioner, I thought about being a nurse. And before that, I start, I thought about being an OBGYN. Before that, I literally thought being a, a therapist. So, girl, you don't have to have it all together right now. Like, you, well, if you're my age, you're 16, you got a little bit of time, but you need to at least know what way you're going like don't you be like oh i don't know what i want to do okay you don't know what you want to do okay let's look into it let's look on tiktok let's look on pinterest what do you like to do do you like kids for instance i love kids like pediatrics love it the kids the babies like 
I would love to hold me a little baby, like a sick baby, make her feel better, make him or her feel better. Like, I would love to do that. Give my baby a shot or something. Like, that's my thing. But you like pets. It's this whole field for that. You like plants. Whole field for that. You don't have to go to college. I feel like it's a lot of other ways to become millionaires. Like, not all millionaires went to college. And finish high school. That's the least you can do. Get your diploma, that's the least. If anything, you can go get a job at McDonald's. But if that's the life, is if that's the type of life you want to live, then go do that. But if you want to strive for more and you want to be better and you want better for yourself, just know what you want to do. But it's just like, you got to be focused. Like, if you want something, you got to go out there and get it. That's that. Like, don't let nobody stop you. Because the only person that can stop you is you. You let them people in your ear. You let them people tell you you can't do it. Them people don't control you. You control yourself, okay? If you want to go get it. That's the end of that. I hope I'm answering these questions right. Um, Growing up. Don't rush to grow up, bro. Okay, when I turned 16, it was like, okay, I get my license this year. Okay, I can really go get a job this year. Okay, uh, you about two more years to get to 18. Well, you get to turn up, but hold up, you grown. <laughs> hold on, just just pause, wait a minute. I can't wait to go to high school, girl, no. Now, it's too much going on in high school. High school, I mean, it's something that you got to go through. But for me, high school is not the worst, but it's not the best. But you know, you make do what it do. Because like, don't let other people get into your head about what you want to do. Like, what I mean by that is don't let people pressure you. Like, don't let people pressure you into losing your virginity. Don't let people pressure you to getting your first relationship. Don't let people pressure you into um, fighting or just certain stuff as a girl. Like, fighting, drama, being in certain situations, being outside. If you a homebody and you got outside friends, you can stay a homebody. It's nothing wrong with being different. Dare to be different. Like, it's bad to be the same. It's bad to be normal. If you're normal, you like everybody else. And everybody else ain't where you want to be. And if you want to be up here and everybody down here, why you want to be normal? You got to be different. That's what sets you apart from everybody else. Slow down. Don't rush to do nothing. Like, everything will come. Um, the next one why am i actually loving this video y'all how to present how to present yourself don't don't try to be on the scene all the time it's it's not it like if you want to pop out you can't pop out if everybody see you at every single event don't don't be twerking on social media i don't like i mean it's not cute. Like, you want to be a cute, pretty girl. If you pretty and you got a bad attitude, you ain't a pretty girl. That That's just that to me. Like, be you. Be chill. I try to stay off social media as much as possible, but I'm trying to get into this content thing. So I'm like, okay, you got to get out of that. Like, come on, girl. Let's dive into the water a little bit. But don't do too much. Don't be loud. Don't. As a girl, I hate loud girls. Like, don't do that. Like, don't try to be ghetto. It's not cute. No, I'm saying period poo. That was never cute. Okay? Never ever cute. Be cute. Be pretty. And if you're not pretty, girl, you better feel pretty though. Because, hold on, hold on. Next, <laughs> I think the next one is confidence you have to have that in you and if you don't you better fake that junk until you make it like no joke you ever seen like a real y'all know what i'm talking about she wasn't the she was a little yeah but she ain't got every boy in the book like she feeling like that like she she posting like she's somebody when really it ain't, it ain't two plus two, it ain't foreign. Yeah. It's the confidence. 
it's the confidence confidence will take you anywhere and think about confidence people never know if it's real or not you could feel like the ugliest girl ever but if you put that outfit on and you do your hair and you feeling like and you looking like somebody and you walking like somebody and you talking like somebody people won't think different to be confident you have to be yourself don't compare yourself to other people that's when i was taught the next topic is social media so i'm gonna just go along with that like social media okay from i'm a skinny girl i weigh like 110 pounds like i'm not the thickest i ain't got the thick thighs i might got these but i ain't got the butt nothing like that but you can't com compare yourself to other people like it's always something wrong with somebody you have to know okay Sit down with yourself. Look at yourself in the mirror and say, I am pretty. Like, do, if you have to, do your daily affirmations. It's okay. It's not weird. But you have to learn it, though. Like, if you have to. But I wouldn't suggest, comp, like, for that, for confidence a little bit, I wouldn't suggest going to get your hair done and doing all that. I would have to say, be you. Like, right now, me, I had to learn how to be confident in me like a hundred percent me of course i'm always confident when i got my wig on because girl i'll be that girl okay you ain't gonna tell me nothing okay but like i just wore my hair i took a break okay i've never done this before like if i'm being honest with y'all i ain't never sat there and like went to school with my hair and felt fully confident in it like okay i'm rain i'm rain olivia at the end of the day <laughs> mind you in sixth grade people used to be like uh right Olivia, like olivia olivia the pig people used to talk about it right don't listen to them freaking people don't listen to them because now you know what i hear olivia right olivia like you gotta have that junk in you you gotta build it up what made you mature what i went through nothing really bad what i went through and then my mom talking me through it i'm gonna let y'all in a little bit i kind of like lost all my friends on my birthday what made me mature i feel like i just started getting mature uh i don't yeah mm, no i feel like i just started getting mature like january around my birthday january december that's when i really started like okay you see life as, from a whole different perspective certain things like I was kind of dependent on people for my happiness or I thought that I always had to have friends or I always had to have a boyfriend or it's just like oh yeah you pretty so you need to have a boyfriend like you pretty why are you single pause that's not the way to think starting 2024 I started writing down my codes I started being more focused on what I want in life it's just certain things you just have to life like as long as life go on you're going to see things differently you're going to mature you're going to have more wisdom it's just experience experiences will put you through get you through <laughs> bring you back deep, dig a deeper hole bring you out put you in a deeper deeper hole but then when you get out and you start chilling, then it's all going to be cool. Maturity, it's going to come along. You just have to let it come. <laughs> I guess I'll talk about the virginity one now. Um, Don't rush it. Don't rush it. Ideally, you're supposed to lose it when you're married. Um, I would say I'm striving for that one. In my mind, I feel like when I'm ready to have a child <laughs> is when I ready to lose my virginity. Don't let these boys get into your head like i love you no you don't you don't know what love is all the way anyways don't even go there with me okay mm, friendships i wouldn't lie i'm a big i feel like i'm a girl's girl i feel like it's just like i love to have me a friend like girl what you doing like let's talk about it like i'm just that type of person like Yes, I want to go outside and, you know, let's go eat. But you have to realize people come and go. And the people that you're friends with now, they might turn on you. 
my I know I keep saying my mama said, but my mama tell me all the time friends will become foes like this, okay? You're that girl that you think is like this might go talk to your boyfriend. That girl that you think is like this might fight you one day. That girl that you think is like this, she could be talking about you behind your back. So, yeah, have friends. Be careful who you call your friend, for one. Everybody's not your friend. I really feel like nobody your friend for real, but hey, that's just me. I ain't had a real friendship at all, ever. So, I don't really trust people too much. And then because, mm, mm. actually, no. God tell you, don't trust nobody. So, mm, oh well, not finna trust you with all my heart for nothing. <laughs> if you do find a true friend, stay loyal to her. Like, don't go talk to her. Like, don't do her, don't backdoor her. Don't, nothing like that. Just be cool, bro. Like, just girl code. I don't really know too much about girl code. I would just say, don't do nothing you don't want to be done to me. Wait, that's not right. Don't no, don't do nothing you don't want to be done to you. That's it for real. Like, yeah, that's girl code to me. Want your friend to talk about her your back? Don't do the same. You don't want your friend to go mess with your boyfriend? Don't go do like don't go do that. Like just. But I go with anything, bro. Don't do what you want want somebody to do to you. Karma, karma is real, and when I fucking come get you, then just gonna knock your ass out, <laughs> and you gonna be left looking stupid. So just, bro, for real, just chill, for real, like you ain't gotta do the most. We cool on that one. I guess we can get into growing out of people. I feel like, you know, we're getting older. So it's okay to not, it's okay to cut a friend off and not fight them. It's okay to stop talking to a boy and not have like a bad breakup. It's really about growing. Like people, you're going to grow and if you're not growing, that's a bad thing. If you're the same person that you were five years ago, it's something wrong. You have to grow and you have to mature. Like you're supposed to grow every day. And if you keep bringing them people that ain't supposed to be in your life, they're going to bring you back down. You can't keep people around you if they not trying to go up as well. Rodway said, I can't take everybody top to the top. I ain't no elevator. If you want to go up to the top and them people want to be at the bottom, keep them people at the bottom and, and go ahead and shoot yourself up to the top, okay? Because I ain't finna play with these people and you ain't finna play with these people either. Because you got places to be, people to see, and goals to achieve. Okay? Alright. <laughs> uh, what's the next one? A girl said older boys. I don't know if she meant to say, like, dating other boys or older boys or what. But I would say be careful with talking to older boys because I know some girls that have talked to older boys and they were innocent or whatever. But they got with a boy that was experienced and they led to him they led them to certain stuff they wouldn't do if they wasn't talking to an older boy so i would say be careful like yeah be careful because half of these boys really know what they be doing half of the boys really just trying to play a game on you getting your lick back that goes with that one don't bro i hate girls that do that like you do not have to get your leg back by going to talk to his homeboy. That's nothing, like, nothing co comes good out of that. But give yourself a name. You talk to this person, he do you wrong, and you think your leg back is to go mess with his homeboy? Do you not know they be running game on you for real? Do you not think that they a part of it? He just passed you to his homeboy. That's all that was. You did not go, oh, yeah, I'm finna go. Girl, no, you didn't. The way to get your look back is go get that hair done, boo. Go get that hair done. Go get you some money. Um, Go chase them goals. And watch who you see at your feet. Ready to come back. 
promise it's gonna work every time boys hate seeing you do good oh she doing good and i don't want her back nope you messed up the first time you can't come back okay that's it um let me see what's the next one that's the next one cheating goes to our boy and girl don't do it bro be single what are you finna mess up somebody hard for like it's you mess with somebody feelings for what you playing with somebody feelings for what to get a laugh when you know karma finna come back wouldn't do that one um situationships i can't i can't do that one bro i tried that one uh uh what you doing where you at who you talking to um why you ain't called me yet why you ain't text me i ain't heard from you all day. yeah mm -mm. can't do that one i'm sorry you can't be messing with other people and then messing with her, her her i don't share and if you're not all mine baby you're not mine okay keep him six feet run the virus what's the next one letting go getting over somebody cry should i not say that i'm saying it again cry cry let them out girl tear drop them tears it's okay go i'm gonna cry my heart out sorry and it might not make me feel better because I, I really don't have the best advice on that one but what i will say is just let time like time will tell time will heal time heals what what right way you said that's his song right time heals pain heals i tell her i'm feeling she said that i'm tripping that's all you gonna say i'll get out of your way hey hold up i'm gonna put that song in my notes staying motivated Staying motivated. Give yourself a time limit. This is what happened for me. Like, this is really, really good. And I'm going to give you all some insight on this. To stay motivated, give yourself a time limit. For me, I write down my goals at the beginning of the month. So, I say, for April, I kind of missed this month. I was a little slacking. So, I would have put April, 5th, April 1st to April 15th. And then I wrote down, like, five goals that I had to accomplish before the 15th. Smart, ain't it? I know. Yeah. That's what really helped me. Like, because some days, you know, some days you don't want to get up. Some days you don't want to do that, that work assignment. Some days you just forget what you had to do. Or it's just like it passes your mind. But when you write it down and you set that thing in stone and you stay on yourself, it will come. Thank you for watch to the end thank you for even clicking on this and i hope you see you in the next one see you later boo